the best teacher in the world. My best teacher in the world. Good morning, class, Miss Dorothy said. Who would like to take this note to Mrs. Walker? Everyone wanted to go. Miss Dorothy was the best teacher in the whole world. She was very pretty. And she was very smart. Martin Kafka waved her his pencil case in the air. Everyone came out. Everything came out. Brenda Wicker nearly fell off her chair. I will go, she said. Bunny Rubbish raised her hands as high as she could. She waggled her fingers. Oh, oh, ping me, please. Bunny will go this time, said Miss Dorothy. Bunny popped up from her seat. She stood up straight, straight, and, and, straight and tall. As she passed Brenda, Bunny Lab felt a little, felt a little naked, kick. kick on her ankle. ankle, but she was too happy to care. Miss Dorsey gave Bunny the note. It was on a yellow piece of paper. The paper was folded in half, but it was not sealed. Bunny walked across the room. She heard, heard, heard. a whisper. What? Have a carrot, Bunny Rabbit. Bunny knew it was Remy. Raymond. Raymond. He always made fun of her name. Sometimes it made her cry. But not now. Bunny was happy and proud. She was taking a note to Mrs. Walker. She held her head up high and wore a big smile on her face as she left the room. Bunny closed the door behind her. Then her smile went away. Where was Mrs. Walker's classroom? Bunny didn't know. Should she go back and ask? No, she couldn't. The, the other would laugh. Miss Dorsey would think she was a dummy. Bunny would just have to try herself. She started to walk down in the hall. Mr. Sharman's class was next door. Bunny already knew that. Mr. Sharman's class and Miss Dorsey's class got together for recess. Miss Stone's class was across the hall. Bunny looked inside. Everyone was copying from the chalkboard. The next door was closed. Maybe it was Mrs. Walker's room. Bunny opened the door. She hoped no one would notice her. But everyone did. The teacher was Mrs. Kylie. Kyle. Kyle. May I help you? She asked. The whole class watched Bunny. Bunny's face turned red. Quickly, she closed the door. Bunny passed room after room. She did not see Mr. Walker. Many of the doors were closed. But she would not open them, not after she had made a mistake in front of Mrs. Kyle's car's class. Bonnie walked up and down the hall twice. She looked in the library. She looked in the auditor auditorium. auditorium. There was no sign of Mrs. Walker's class. 
At last, she went back to her own classroom. <clears throat> the back door was open. Bunny waited outside where no one could see her. Miss Percy was reading about the ugly duckling that turned into a swan. This was Bunny's favorite story. Bunny wished she were inside. She wished someone else and had taken, taken. taken the note of Mrs. Walker. Bunny went to cry. By now, the yellow paper was wrinkled. What did he say? Bunny knew she should not look, but she had to. Bunny read, Nancy, meet me at Pine Street at 4 o'clock, Joyce. Bunny put the note in her pocket and walked back into the room. Did Mrs. Walker say anything? Mrs. Dorsey asked. Bunny lied. She said, okay. Miss Dorsey smiled. Thank you, Bunny. But Bunny fell all afternoon. She kept thinking about her fear. She wanted to tell Mrs. Miss Dorsey the truth. But Juice. she she not doesn't want one besides Dorsey to think she was a dummy and how now now a little liar too finally the bell rang it was time to go home it was bunny's last chance to tell the truth but the words would not come out that night, Bunny could not sleep. She thought about Mrs. Dorsey. She was still. Was she still? She was she still waiting for Mrs. Walker on the Pine Street. Bunny didn't want to go to school the next day. Your eyes look a bit red, said her mother. So Bunny stayed home. Mom looked the day, uh, took the day off from work. They played checkers and card and candy bill. It should have been fun, but it wasn't. Bunny felt like a fever and a fake. Tomorrow she would have to go to school. The next morning, Bunny looked for Mrs. Dorsey in the schoolyard. I have to tell you something, said Bunny. I didn't give your note to Mrs. Walker. I know, said Mrs. Dorsey. I saw her in the parking lot after school. But you were very brave to tell brave, me. Brave, brave to tell. Brave to tell me. Miss. Miss Dorsey gives Bunny a hug. Just promise me one thing. She said, never be afraid to ask questions. When there's something you don't know, all right? Yes, said Bunny, and she hugged Miss Dorsey back. Miss Dorsey was the best teacher in the whole world. She was very pretty and very, very smart. The end.